this time I decided to study two different LEDs and measure their efficiencies. The first LED that I decided to study is the Cree LED CXA3050, which is rated at 50 watts, and the other LED is the, other, is the COB LED full spectrum that I have used in previous studies. This, this LED is also sold as rated at 50 watts. For this experiment, I used my 7.6 cm wide heatsink and uh, having a 9 cm of length. This is the diagram of the heatsink, and these are the two fans that I used for the experiments. This is the 20 CFM fan and this is the 40 CFM fan. The size of both fans is the same. This is a photo of the experimental array. The way I, uh, I put it in a PVC base, I hang it with four strings at the edges of the heatsink and over the heatsink I put the fan. This, uh, this fan I change, I change it between the 20 CFM fan and the 40 CFM fan for the different measurements. These are thermal images of the Cree LED with a 20 CFM fan which are this image and this one and this is for the results for this 40 CF 40 CFM fan. Likewise for the COB LED. So the these are the results. Uh, I measured the voltage, the current, the actual power, electric power consumed by the LED, the ambient temperature, and in the case of the Cree LED, I measured the temperature TC at the PCB of the LED itself, and also in the zone A, which is located here, for the heatsink inside the base of the heatsink. I did the same. These, me these measurements were made. I made them for the 20 CFM fan and the 40 CFM. Likewise, for the COB LED. Uh, the only difference is that the COB LED doesn't have a measurement point for a TC measurement. So there is only a zone A measurement. So to know what percentage of the electric power input is converted to heat? I used a polyimide resistance which hypothetically converts all input power into heat power by the Joule effect. And I replicated the same temperature under the same active dissipation with, the, with both fans and I tried to get us to get the power to get the necessary power in order to get the same temperature as that measured by the in the LED experiment. This way I can know how much heat the LED is giving to the heatsink. And these are the tables with the results. This table shows the temperature. These both of these tables show the power, the electric power given to the LED. This is the Cree LED, this is the COB LED, and this is the power given to the heater, the resistance. This is the temperature and so name when the Cree when the Cree LED is on the heat sink and this is the temperature when the heater is installed in the heat sink. In the case of the Cree LED it was very difficult to get the exact same temperature. These temperatures are normalized at 25 degrees centigrade ambient temperature and uh, it was quite difficult so I just accepted to have the most close, the closest temperature possible. 
that's likewise for the COPLDT. So um, by dividing the heat resistance by the LED power, I can. And I'm sorry, I, I think this is all, that way all the way around. It's actually the yes, it is actually the no, 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 that's that's okay. Well, either it's the LED power over the heater power or the um, heater power of the LED power. So, uh, the Efficiency for both fans for the acrylity that I got was 34 percent, pretty high, and for the COB LED it differed between the two fans and it was lower than for the Cre LED, 17 and 21 percent for the 20 and 40 CFM fans respectively. This was a very expected result. I just wanted to quantify the efficiency and. The two more things that are important, other than the actual numbers, is that as can as I saw from the thermal images, the internal resistance of the COB LED is way higher than the internal resistance for the Cree LED. For example, this measurement is taken at the heat sink temperature of about. Uh, 40 something degrees and uh, light emitting surface temperature is about 81 according to the uh, thermal image and in the case of the 40 CFM fan for the CO COB LED the temperature of the heatsink is about 10 degrees greater but the um, the temperature at the light emitting surface but normalizing at the same temperatures uh, is uh, normalizing at the same ambient temperature and the equivalent power is about 20 degrees greater. That means that the internal resistance of the COP LED is greater than that of the Cree LED. And finally, it is uh, very possible that uh, for the CFM fan and this heatsink size, the uh, COB LED is auto-regulating the power because it senses a possible overheating and then diminishes the current demand and this way uh, the LED can become less efficient than in the case for the 40 CFM fan where the temperature is lower so in that case, more power gets converted to light instead of heat. So this is a pretty interesting um, study that I have made um, and I will continue these kind of studies. And that's it for this week.